welcome back at Peter Place with another preview for The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Another trailer came out and this is another reaction of mine. And this is a bit of a weird introduction because we already saw how these rifts uh, started to appear in Hyrule. And now there's kind of like a different origin in the throne room of Hyrule Castle. Was that or was that not King Roam uh, in, in like uh, Link's Awakening style this time? Around. This looks eerily like Gerudo to me. Uh, this is also eerily similar to Catfish Maw from Link's Awakening. And then we get introduced to the still world. How cool is that? There are some openings. It's kind of like an analogy to the chasms in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. You can jump in, this time playing as Zelda, obviously. And you can go all the way into the still world, which I believe is also down. And look at it. Is that a Lionel? Is that a Lionel there on the left in Link's Awakening style? Do we have Lionels from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom in this new game as well? The still world, for me, again, eerily similar to the, the, um, the depths in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And we can navigate it. So not only is there like an overworld, which again, in my opinion, looks absolutely huge. There is a world below that too, the still world. It looks a bit chaotic because if you look at this piece of land, it's actually tilted 90 degrees, but still navigatable, obviously using your echoes again to bridge gaps that are otherwise impossible. There we have that echo inventory again that I don't really know. Is it going to be limited or unlimited? Let's find out when the game appears and dungeons makes their make their return. There's actually real dungeons again, so probably we will be collecting treasures and treasure maps so we know where everything is. Also, this little feature is back from Link's Awakening, these little parts of levels where you actually have a 2D feel, like a platformer feel, and the boss fights are obviously part of this game. Ooh, I'm looking forward to finding like the sweet spots for these enemies where you can hit them and do them damage. And then, yeah, there will be a variety of ways to make that happen. Uh, so let's see how that works. And what did Zelda do there? Is the bed actually re refreshing uh, hearts like it did in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom? If you sleep, your hearts replenish? Is that how it's going to work? I'm super excited to find out. We're drawing ever closer to the release date of the game. So um, let's see what happens. That's also a nice mechanic that I didn't see before. Those moving platforms. Obviously, Dungeons in the Dark, part of it. And look... You can grab onto enemies and use them to uh, navigate the, the dungeons or other parts of the game. Obviously, there's a sword fighter form. That's like your classical version of how to do it. But there's a twist. There's a twist to it. It's limited in time. It's not the master sword because it's a mysterious sword. Or is it the master sword? Really interesting to find out. Will we find a master sword here? Obviously, she's already holding Zelda is already holding the Hylian shield. So that is there. But is there a Master Sword? Also, comments down below if you happen to know the answer to that one. Do we get a Master Sword in this game? As mentioned, Sword Fighter level uh, or Sword Fighter mode is limited in time. So you need to make sure you do not run out of energy. Uh, because if you do, it's... Well, you're done sword fighting. So, But you can go to the Still World and find these energy things to fill the gouge. Interesting, right? Again, to me, that is eerily reminiscent of the pose of Tears of the Kingdom in the uh, depths. And then this is also very cool. If you've played The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, you know who Danpei is. If not, play that game. Danpei was the guy who built those custom dungeons for you. So you could basically keep playing the game. And here he makes automatons that you can actually use to destroy enemies. Obviously, they do take damage. So um, be careful with them. But it's so cool. It's so cool. Look at it. Look at it. It's just an automaton. Obviously, it's not invincible, but they are so handy. All the mechanics in this game, they look so cool. And all these new people. Is that a paraglider? We don't know. There's Gorons. There's Gerudos. There's, there's, there's so many things. There's even fairies. So what can we do with the fairies? Also excited to find out about that. Um, and then apparently the rifts change. So things come out of the rifts as well. And there are hidden areas. Behind the trees, there was a hot and a cold sequence there. So do we need to get different outfits or, or meals to prep against cold and heat? There's flying cuckoos again, obviously. And you can hide in the pots this time. How cool is that? There's so many new things to discover in this game. I can hardly wait. There's even horses you can ride and dragons. Also, dragons are in this game. What else will we find? And then 
they threw in this really nice thing at the end of that trailer watch for it uh the announcement screen will go away and we will see this really ominous thing will the final boss fight with someone we know let me know in the comments down below for now thanks so much for watching and catch you in the next one and check this out Yes. <laughs>